So this question says a rectangle has a length of X units. Let me just draw this. I'm going to use the strategy plug-in picture. So I use this strategy anytime a question describes something that can be drawn. So there's my rectangle. My length is X. So I'll just label the lengths there as X. The width is uh, X minus 15. So I'll label that as X minus 15 on the, on the right as well as on the left. If the rectangle has an area of 76 square units, which I'll just write on the inside, what is the value of x? Well, how do I find the area of a rectangle? It's just length times width. So it would be x times x minus 15 is equal to 76. And I could do some math here. I can do some math, in which case I'd have x squared minus 15x. Let's just say I subtract 76 from both sides, so I have minus 76 equals 0. I could do it that way. But I could also use a strategy called plug-in answers, right? because the question is asking what is the value of x where I can just plug these in and see, you know, will, will this work? For instance, is it true that 4 times 4 minus 15, right, just replacing x with 4, is it true that that's equal to 76? Definitely not, because this becomes a negative number, so that's gone. Is it true that 19 minus, or sorry, 19 times 19 minus 15? That looks pretty good, because that becomes 19 times 4. And, yeah, that actually does equal 76, so our answer is choice B. So I, I switch gears here just to show you that there's another method here, plug in answers. But of course, here we could have just as well figured out, I suppose, two values that two factors of negative 76 that add up to negative 15 and um, solved that way. Uh, we could also use quadratic formula, like the negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I think that's a little bit overkill, but you could also do that. So there's three options. Here's our traditional um, factoring a trinomial. Here's another alternative to how to factor a trinomial and solve a trinomial. And here is more of an SAT strategy on how to just plug in answers. So hopefully that's helpful.